Hey, welcome back. I am Joel, and in this video, we're going to talk about my stock photography earnings for June of 2023. Whether you're a new or seasoned stock photographer, be sure to stick around. In this video, we're going to go over my actual earnings as well as the images and videos that have sold for me. Now, before we get started, if you're here to learn about my earnings for June, go ahead and type in June 1000 in the description below. And once you've done that, We'll go ahead and get into it. Are you done? All right, here we go. So for June, I was actually in Albania and I was leaving Albania and actually going back to Sofia, Bulgaria. So I was doing a lot of travel. Um, I actually ended up spending a couple of days in Sofia uh, where I was, I made sure to actually go on a photo shoot and get some more travel images. Now, as of recording this, I still haven't edited those images yet, but I at least got out there and captured a whole bunch of new stuff so that I can hopefully get those edited and contribute, get them submitted here very soon. So after that, we actually took the bus down to Bonsko, Bulgaria, where I'm staying at right now. And it's basically one of my favorite little mountain towns in southwestern part of Bulgaria. Uh, in the winter, it basically is a ski resort. In the summer, it's actually just a really nice place be, you can be as chill as you want, or you can go out and have a bunch of fun in the hiking in the mountains and all kinds of good stuff. So anyways, while I've been here, I've been actually uploading quite a few images and videos. So um, I did a bunch of stuff in June, which is great. Uh, so now Jeff White, you can stop harassing me about not uploading new content. I've done that. But if you guys don't know who Jeff White is, definitely check him out. He's a stock contributor and has got an amazing portfolio and tons of really valuable content on his YouTube channel as well. And I will put a link of that somewhere up here. All right, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get into the video, shall we? Um, let's start with some of the images that I sold in June from some of the stock agencies that had pretty low sales for me. Uh, these I like to call my dishonorable mentions. And in June, my dishonorable mentions were Canva, Dreams Time, 123RF, in deposit photos. So here are a few of the images that sold for me on those agencies. Starting with this one here, and it's the shot of Emerald Bay in Lake Tahoe, California. It actually sold on 123RF. Next, you can see this Toyota Land Cruiser with that rooftop tent. And again, you've probably seen this before, but one of my favorite shots, and it's set against the Sierra Nevada mountains in California. That also sold on 123RF. Here you can see a, just a beautiful beach picture of this lifeguard hut, all the palm trees on this tropical beach that was actually in Puerto Rico, and that sold on deposit photos. Another one from Puerto Rico, and this is a new one for me. Uh, these rooftops in Old San Juan that sold on deposit photos, and I think that's one I uploaded in May or at the very beginning of June, and it already sold, which is pretty cool. Next, you have this really beautiful shot of this beach in Kauai, Hawaii. Um, it's actually a shipwreck beach, and you can, of course, see all the mountain range behind, which makes me really want to go back there. <laughs> Here's another one of a red lifeguard hut on a beach in Puerto Rico. This image here actually sold through Dreams Time. And we'll wrap this one up with a sign picture. This is a sign of warning of strong currents, and this was actually from Kauai, Hawaii as well. And this also sold on Dreams Time. So in total, I earned $3.45 from all of those agencies combined. Now you might not always get sales on every agency or platform, and that's every every month that's the same for me. In June, those were Video Hive, I am, Pond5, Alame, and Fine Art America. So now let's talk about some of the stock agencies where I did manage to sell a few more images. Um, let's start with Shutterstock. On Shutterstock, I had 15 image sales in June and one video sale, bringing in a pretty disappointing $3.77 in earnings. Now my portfolio on Shutterstock is up to 757 images and 88 videos. I did have one video sale. This is an editorial shot of a Sprinter van driving on the road in Northern California. It only earned me $1.49. Now, all the rest of my image sales were kind of the 10 cent to 20 cent variety, which is pretty typical on Shutterstock. Um, I had, with one exception, and that was this image here of the St. Pete Pier, which you guys have probably seen over and over again. It also sold quite a few times for me in uh, June on Shutterstock. 
So here are a few of the other sales on Shutterstock I had in June. Starting with this shot of these fall leaves on this trail that leads to a lake. This was also shot in Northern California. Next, there's this image of this fruit for sale at a local farmer's market, actually from Seattle. Next, we have a couple editorial images. First one is of a beach hotel in the Florida Keys. And next is a sunset shot of tourists taking selfies in old San Juan, Puerto Rico. And here's another sunset shot, this time with a silhouette of rowers out of focus in the foreground. That was actually taken in uh, Tampa area, St. Pete, Florida. And then finally, we've got a portrait of our, our standard poodle, Simon, uh, standing next to my wife. Now with iStock Getty, I had nine image sales in June, um, earning me a total of $4.75. Now I have a pretty small portfolio there. I think at the moment it, in June, it's up to 123 images and I haven't uploaded any videos there at all. Now, since my portfolio on iStock Getty is so small, you've probably seen these images before if you watch these videos. So I'll make this fast. This one here is a festive man in Lederhosen, the Oktoberfest celebration. Again, you've probably seen this one sold as editorial. Next is this tropical beach in Puerto Rico. And that one also sold. That one sold as a commercial image. And then finally, the palm trees silhouetted against this beautiful colorful sunset that's in Santa Monica, California. And that one sold six times for me. Over on Adobe stock, it brought me in $11.04 from four image sales and one video sale. I now have 643 images and 76 videos in my portfolio over on Adobe stock. First off, I did have one image sale that was selected for the Adobe stock like free program that they do, which earned me $5. I was kind of disappointed. I thought I would have at least a couple more images selected. I think in total, there was like maybe 30 or 40 pictures or something like that. And I think I submitted maybe 20 or so for selection. So I was kind of hoping to get a little more than that, but I'll take the five bucks. Now, as far as video sales, this video sold for me again for the third month in a row. You've definitely seen this one, this shot of overlooking Emerald Bay in Lake Tahoe. But unfortunately, it only earned me $2.80 in June. Now, as far as image sales are concerned, here are a few of the images that did sell for me on Adobe stock. This first shot is of Playa Escondida, which is a hidden beach in the Fajardo area of Puerto Rico. Next, I had this idyllic image of June Lake in North Central California in the fall time. And then finally, we had this POV shot of the open road in the Nevada desert. Now, for whatever reason, I have had a really, really difficult time having my images being accepted on Adobe stock lately. And it's basically, it seemed like it started happening in June. I'm not sure. Maybe it was, maybe it was going on sooner than that, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm basically doing the same thing I've always done, but I keep getting all these super vague, like rejections reasons and everything like that. I don't know if any of you have had a similar experience. If you have, please let me know in the comments. And especially if you know of, like if, you, if there's anything different that you did that fixed that, I would really desperately need to know. Also, like they've been taking forever to get anything accepted at all. Like the review process time has been really long. So I don't know if everybody else is having the same issue or not, but again, let me know in the comments if, you've, if you're in the same boat. Now, before I get into my best agency for the month, do me a favor and give the video a like to help other people find this content. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet, well, do so now. Here's a perfect opportunity. While I'm talking, you can just go and click that little button. Um, and of course, if any of my videos have helped you, you can show your appreciation by just simply using any of the links that I have in my in the description below, whether it be to sign up to a stock agency or for one of the products or something like that. Um, I'll earn a little commission off that, and which is very nice. It helps support the channel. Also, you can say thanks with a super, which is a, I guess a feature where you can give money on, on a YouTube, which I've never experienced. So, but it's there, <laughs> it's available now. Uh, and one other way is you can always buy me a virtual beer. Again, there's a link in the description. Thank you so much in advance. My best performing agency in June was actually Wirestock, which is actually surprising for me since it has not been doing very well for me recently, not, not the last, several months at least. Um, 
Also, Wirestock just made a huge major announcement that affects your ability to upload content there, or new content there. Um, I explain it all in a video that you can watch after you finish watching this video, of course, but there's a link up there if you want to check it out. In total, I sold eight images and had one video sale on Wirestock in June for a total of $20.54. Now, $5.30 of that was actually referral income, um, and that was from 50 sales. So again, that's uh, anybody that signed up through one of my, my Wirestock referral link from back in the day. Um, basically, I get like a, I think 10% or something like that of whatever earnings you get. And of course it comes from Wirestock's cut, not yours. Uh, so it's really good to see people still getting sales there. I don't know how much longer we'll be seeing that, but anyway, I'll, I'll take it. it. It's basically bought me a beer, so thank you guys. Now my Wirestock portfolio is 549 images and 93 videos. I had one decent sale, one decent video sale that is, through Pond5, and that was uh, earned me $11.86 with this editorial image here of a U-Haul driving along the I-5 interstate in Oregon on kind of a foggy day. That was actually shot on a road trip that we did a couple years ago uh, when we basically sold our house and everything we owned. Um, so it's kind of nice to be earning some money from that. Um, so now let's go ahead and get into some of the image sales that I did have in June on Wirestock, starting with this image here. This panoramic view of Santa Monica Beach sold on Wirestock via Shutterstock. Next, we have this really cool sunset shot of a ferry crossing the Puget Sound in Washington State, which is my old stomping grounds. Um, this sold via Shutterstock as well. Next up, we have another one of my favorite shots, and this is of this herd of horses running along a mountainside in Texas. And I've talked about this before briefly, but it's, it was from a shoot that I did, a video that I produced there. I was smart enough to bring my camera with me. That sold on Adobe stock. And finally, we have this low angle architectural shot. The museum in Florida it was sold as an editorial image on deposit for photos. In June, I earned a total of $43.55 from 43 image sales and three video sales. So here's the totals by agency. So it's also nice to see that the video sales actually brought in 37% of my earnings for June. So anybody says videos are dead, I mean, it all depends on your portfolio size and everything, but I'd say it's pretty significant for me. And definitely if you're not uploading videos and you've got some videos, um, then I definitely think you should start doing so. It certainly doesn't hurt, especially if you've got a portfolio similar to mine. I mean, it can make, you know, one or two video sales in a month can make a pretty big impact on, you know, when you're only bringing in 43 bucks or whatever. So uh, definitely I encourage you to do so if you haven't done, if you haven't started doing that yet. And now one more thing before you click off this video, uh, you can check out my other channel, Wandering Hearts, and see some more of my travel videos. Also, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this video is able to inspire you with your own stock photo and video journey. And as always, cheers, and I'll see you next time. So here's just a few of the images that sold for me on those. All right. Oh, golly. Dang. Monster energies and bananas do not go well, apparently. All right, here we go. Okay.